Now, the year was 2005. It was going to be my eighth grade school year. I moved to Kansas City with my mom after two years of living with my father in Alabama. It wasn't the hood part of Kansas. It was the county part. We stayed in an apartment complex called Wallen Creek. And when I tell y'all, man, I never lived in an environment like this in my entire life, man. The area of this apartment complex was always quiet, man. You ain't barely even hear dogs barking, bro. Well, no arguing neighbors, gunshots, none of that shit. Like, it was all new to me, man. I ain't, man, I ain't never experienced no shit like this in my entire life. Living in a quiet, you know, somewhat suburban neighborhood, it was all new to me, bro. And another thing that I had to prepare for, man, was going to a predominantly white school. I never went to an all-white, predominantly white school. All the schools I went to either was like 80% black. You had a couple white kids, you know, some men's kids. But, but the majority of schools I've been to, like all of my classmates were African-American. So this was going to be a definite new experience for me, man. I ain't know what the hell was in store for me. When I step foot in the classroom, I can just feel all the white kids just staring at me, man. Probably thinking to themselves, like, who is this big black kid, man? Now, as an eighth grader, I was big, man. I was about six foot even, and I was close to 200 and some pounds. So I was the biggest and the tallest kid in the school. And because of that, I was pretty much of an outcast. You know what I'm saying? But on this same day, when I went to go take a seat, man, I, I sat next to this mixed kid. And I thought to myself, oh, shit, man, we got a black, got a black dude, bro. This nigga look like me. Until this nigga opened up his damn mouth. Now, when I took my seat, this dude gonna ask me. Now, I want y'all to tell me out there, is this question appropriate? You know what I'm saying? This guy asked me. He looked at me and said, hey, man, how are your grades? Now, in my mind, I was like, did this nigga just ask me how my grades were? What the f***? What kind of... What, what kid ask another kid how the f*** are they grades? Like, nigga, are you my tutor? Like, what the f***? What, what are you asking me what my grades look like? This is my first day, nigga. Like, who gives a f*** what my grades look like, man? I'm trying to see what these... I'm trying to see what one of these white bitches gonna give me some head. That's all I'm worried about. What the hell is you talking about how are my grades? Anyway, I looked at him and said, bruh. My grades f***ed up. <laughs> and I don't give a shit. <laughs> now, if you watched my previous story time, you already know. You know, I in my previous story time, I talked about how bad I was as a kid. And I had bad grades up until high school. So, my grades was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And the curriculum in this school was fucking ridiculously <gasps> hard as fuck. It seemed like some straight up college work. So... I was failing all through this school year, and I didn't give a damn. And that's what I told him. I said, bro, my grades f***ed up, and I don't give a shit, man. We need to be talking about which one of these white hoes give up the ass. Like, what are you, we, where, where are the hoes? Where the hoes at? <laughs> but then I asked him. I was just like, I was just curious. I said, bro, did you really just ask me how my grades were? He said, yeah, man. And I was and like, that shit normal. You don't ask another goddamn kid how they grades. What the fuck? <laughs> like this moment right here I already knew That I wasn't about to fit in With nobody at this damn school 